There's kind of like two schools of thought, and I would say it's like Bellamy and Clark, and they're pretty much just at loggerheads for most of that. Um, but it is that kind of Lord of the Flies thing where there it is, you know, there are no rules and um, it's kind of survival of the fittest, I guess, and they, um, you know, um, the strongest kind of survive and Bellamy ends up kind of being in a position of leadership. So, you know, that's tested throughout the whole storyline um, and even to this day about what we're shooting. But yeah, the kind of, the rules are always shifting and we're, it's not like we're playing on a, a, you know, a level playing field because those rules have to change in accordance to what is happening in our environment. So sometimes the rules are kind of enforced upon us by the world that we're living in, the, the radio, radiation sort of world. So uh, yeah, it's hard to define the actual terms of the rules because yeah, the game's always changing. Well, how much of your backstory are we gonna get this season? Or your sister's uh, backstory on the show? Well, um, I'm hoping to learn a lot about Bellamy and Octavia. I mean, they're, they're functional and severely dysfunctional at the same time. So I think as the story progresses, we'll learn more as to why they have these certain positions that they do have. Um, but it's, it's definitely quite a tumultuous, tumultuous and emotional relationship they have. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking to find out more just as much as you guys are. Criminals, uh, you know, by definition, don't like following, well, I guess, through their behavior, like following leadership. So, obviously, Bellamy has to stamp his authority in some way, and it's something that he has to keep um, readdressing, readdressing like, all the time. Not only with the criminal, but I guess with the criminals and with um, Clark. So, yeah.